And the Malden Fire Department held a grand opening at their new fire station headquarters today. 7 News' Taylor Farmer attended. Malden's brand new fire station headquarters is double the size of their last facility with more features than you can count. Guys and girls can actually do train, ladder training. They can actually raise and lower the ladders up into this window access. They can actually go in and wash and all that and get decontaminated. In addition to new training space and a decontamination area, there is also a weight room for training, an additional truck bay, and a place for some rest. This is their living quarters. This is where actually they sleep. Malden firefighters are now working what they call 4896s. They work for two days straight with four days off. Safety for our staff. That's, the, that's one of the biggest things I'm proud of. Chief McHone and others feel the new space allows them to better do their job while staying safe and keeping the community safe. The prior headquarters, we had to cross the second busiest intersection in the city, in the um, county of Greenville. Um, it was always a hazard anytime those trucks pulled out. At nearly 21,000 square feet, the new $7.5 million headquarters is located off West Butler Road, only about a mile and a half away from the previous building. But with growth on the west side of the city, leaders say they were intentional with its positioning. With Ashmore Bridge uh, just exploding and the growth in population, it makes our response times a lot better. We do have three other stations, so with us moving down here, that will not hinder any of our response times. City leaders say approximately 10,000 more people are expected to move to Malden in the next 10 years. They want to make sure public safety is the top priority before, during, and after the growth. Um, we believe in investing in public safety, investing in fire, investing in police. With that, the city is planning in their budget funding for the salaries of three new firefighters in addition to some new equipment. We're actually getting two QRVs, and they're going to be medical QRVs. Instead of running these engines around doing medical stuff, we're actually going to use the QRVs to be able to do that and take the mileage and stuff off these trucks and wear and tear. City leaders tell us they are confident the new headquarters will aid in their commitment to protecting the citizens of Malden. In Malden, Taylor Farmer, 7 News. And Malden leaders tell us close to 25,000 people currently live in the area that they serve. In a 48-hour shift, Chief McCone says they typically receive 30 to 40 calls.